Here we're looking at compound shapes. Compound shapes are shapes made up of other shapes. So in the first example here, we've got a shape that's made up of two rectangles. To find the area of a shape made up of two rectangles, we need to split it back into two rectangles. So it doesn't matter which way we split it. We could either split along here, or we could split down here. Either way, it doesn't make a difference which one we do, we get the same answer. So let's leave it as it is now. So we've got two rectangles. We've got a four by nine rectangle, and we don't know the length of this rectangle, but we can work it out. So the whole length of the whole shape is 12, and this part, this top part of the shape is four. So if we do 12 take away four, we get eight. So this part of the shape must be eight centimeters. So now we've got two rectangles. We know their length and width. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So the area is length times width. So for our four by nine rectangle, we're going to do nine times four. Nine times four is 36. So this rectangle has got an area of 36. And we measure area in squares. So it's 36 centimeters squared. For our second rectangle, it's got a length of eight and a width of five. The area is length times width. So eight times five, which is 40. And again, the lengths are in centimeters and we measure area in squares. So it's 40 centimeters squared. And now we know both parts separately to find the total area, the whole area of the shape, we add them up. So the total area is 36 plus 40 which is 76 centimeters squared. Okay, one for you to try here. So give this one a go. So we're gonna split it into two different rectangles. Again, there's different ways of doing it. It doesn't matter which way you split it. You should get the same answer. So I'm gonna go this way this time. So I've got a rectangle at the top, which is seven by 13. The area is length times width. So we're gonna do 13 times seven for our top rectangle. And we know the bottom rectangle has got a length of eight, but what's its width? So the whole shape is 11 centimeters tall. And this part of the shape is seven so this part is 11 minus 7, and 11 minus 7 is 4. So it's 4 centimetres tall. So this rectangle is going to be length times width to calculate the area. So 8 times 4. So 13 times 7. How can we work out 13 times 7? So 13 times 7. If we do seven times three, that's 21. So one in the ones, carry two over. Seven times one is seven, plus the two makes nine. So that's 91 centimeters squared. And eight times four is 32 centimeters squared. So the total area is 91 plus 32, which is 123 centimeters squared. This time we have a compound shape and we're being asked to find the perimeter of the shape. 
the perimeter is the total distance all the way around the edge of the shape. So the total distance around the outside of the shape. Do we know every length that makes up the outside of the shape? There are two we don't know here, so we can work them out. So we've got 10 centimeters all the way down the left of the shape. And we've got six centimeters on the right. The total left is going to equal the total right. So 10 take away six is four centimeters. And we can work out this missing red length here because the total bottom of the shape, the 15, is going to equal the total top. So 15 take away 7 is 8. So we could say that's 8 centimetres. But we didn't actually really need to work that out because if we knew the total top is 15, we can just say the whole top is 15. And because we knew the whole side must equal 10, we can just say the whole side is 10. So we could say we've got, so starting at the 15, 15 plus 10 plus 7 plus 4 plus 8 plus 6. Or we could say, which is easier, we've got two 10s and two 15s. So two 10s and two 15s, two 10s of 20, two 15s of 30. So we've got 20 centimetres plus 30 centimetres, which is 50 centimetres. We measure perimeter in centimetres. It's a distance. So we measure it in centimetres or millimetres or metres, whatever we're measuring our distance is in. Okay, one question for you to try here. So give this one a go. So we could work out the missing lengths, or we could say the total top is 14, which means these two lengths along the bottom must equal 14. And the total side is a 12. So the two lengths on the other side must also add up to make 12. So the total perimeter, the total distance around the edge of the shape is two 14s and two 12s. Two 14s are 28, two 12s are 24, 28 plus 24 is 52. So we've got 52 centimetres. Okay, a different compound shape. The question is to find the area. And this time we've got a rectangle and the triangle. So the area of a rectangle. So for a rectangle, area is length times width and our rectangle has got a length of five and a width of four so five times four is 20 and its area so we're measuring it in squares 20 centimeters squared for a triangle the area is well it's the same as half of a rectangle so the area is half times base times height. Half of the base times the height, or the base times the height divided by two. So this one's got a base of four and a height of three. We're not interested in the diagonal lengths. It's how tall it is from bottom to top. So base is four, height is three. So half times four times three half of four times means of half of four is two 
and 2 times 3 is 6. So it's 6 centimetres squared. So we've got 20 centimetres squared and 6 centimetres squared. So the total area is 20 plus 6, which is 26 centimetres squared. Okay, the next question is for you to try. So give this one a go. So this shape, you could say it's a compound shape. It's a rectangle and a triangle, but it's also a trapezium. It's got a set of parallel sides. So you could work out the area of a trapezium, or you could work out the area of the rectangle and the triangle and add them together. Both ways would give you the correct answer. So if we treat it like a compound shape, we'd say the area of the rectangle is length times width, 9 times 5, which is 45 centimetres squared. And the area of the triangle is half times the base, which is 6, times the height, which is 9. Half of 6 is 3, 3 nines are 27. So we've got 45 plus 27, which is 72 centimetres squared. If we use the trapezium, we'd say the area of a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides times the height times the distance between them. So we've got the parallel sides are 5 and 11. So 5 plus 6 makes 11. So it'd be half of 5 plus 11 times the height, which is 9. 5 plus 11 is 16. Half of 16 is 8. So 8 nines is 72 centimetres squared. So it wouldn't have mattered which method you used, you would get the same answer. And another compound shape. This time we've got, well, it's either a rectangle with a triangle cut out of it, or we could say we've got two rectangles and a triangle. So we could say we've got two rectangles and a triangle, but it would be easier to say we've got one rectangle with a triangle cut out of it. So we could work out the total area of the rectangle and take away the triangle. So let's look at the triangle's measurements. So 12 take away 4. 12 take away 4 is 8. And 9 take away 5 is 4. So we could say we've got a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So the area length times width which is 12 times 9, 12 times 9, 10 times 12 is 120, take away 112, that's 108. So 108 centimetres squared for the rectangle and the triangle, the area is half times base times height half base times height. So half of 8 times 4. Half of 8 is 4. So 4 fours are 16. So the triangle has an area of 16 centimetres squared. So our shape is the rectangle take away the triangle so 108, take away 16, which is 92. So 92 centimetres squared.
Okay, one for you to try. So this time we've got a square cut out of a triangle. So find the area of the shape that's left. So the area of a triangle is half times base times height. So for the triangle, the area is half times eight times seven, which is the same as four sevens, which is 28 centimeters squared. And a square has a length of three. So the area of the square is three squared. So the length squared, three squared, which is nine centimeters squared. So what's 28 take away nine? 28 take away nine is 19. So we've got 19 centimeters squared left. And to finish up two questions. So give these ones a go. Question one is either two rectangles in a triangle or a rectangle with a triangle cut out of it. So the total rectangle, so the area of a rectangle is length times width. So that's 10 times nine, which is 90 centimeters squared. So that'd be the total rectangle. We need to cut out the triangle from it and the triangle's measurements are so 9 take away 6 is 3 and 10 take away 7 is also 3 so the area of a triangle is half times the base times the height so half times 3 times 3 half of 3 is one and a half, 1.5, and one and a half times three is four and a half. So we've got four and a half, 4.5 centimeters squared. So our area is 90 take away 4.5. So 90 take away four is 86, then take away 0.5. So that's 85.5 centimeters squared. And question two, again, it's a triangle cut out of a rectangle. So the rectangle, the area is length times width. So 20 times 10, which is 200 centimeters squared. The triangle the area is half times the base times the height so half times 8 times 3 which is half of 8 is 4 so 4 threes which is 12 centimeters squared So what is the shaded area? It's 200 take away 12. So 200 take away 10 is 190. Then take away two, that's 188 centimeters squared.